everyone welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen hello and, and maggie's here and Hi. we've got a very special guest for you today she's a very very funny comic from st louis missouri she's also one of our best friends in the entire world and she licked my pussy no. everybody please welcome to the podcast tina debo <laughs> Oh, God. It feels so good to be here. Oh, Can I just say, yeah. Yeah. your guys' intro song yeah. hits. It is so fucking, it is, sorry, we're... We, Ooh, you're yeah. not supposed to swear well, for the first 10 minutes, but we didn't tell her that. You didn't tell me? Yeah, yeah we too didn't late. Tell you that. And it's my fault. No. Mount Sticks. Oh, go ahead. Mount go Sticks. It, go um, ahead. Well, we, we can thank Brett for the song because he did that. Yeah. Oh, okay. For sure, for sure. But I bet anyone could have done that if they really put their mind to it. <laughs> yeah, just add a couple of beats and loops. Um, True. Tina, we're happy to have you on the Viral Podcast. Now, you have been on Slits Only. Yes. But you've never been on the Viral Pod. No. Nope. First- and we don't really even have her in the guest spot. So, like, we kind of did this last minute. We don't have, like, nothing prepared for Tina. All right, my, my 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 pussy's ready for her. Yeah, those things are ready for her, but like as in questions like oh, okay, no. so Tina back in two thousand six. No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna riff. Yeah. <laughs> Just riff raff. Yeah, I'm here. I mean I'm already I'm in the I'm in the cedar, okay? I'm in the heater. And you list- can't mess with me. I'm already in the spot, you know? If oh, yeah. if you are an audio listener and not a YouTube watcher, Tina is a woman. I was gonna do it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm excited to be on the podcast. <laughs> like, like I'm an old fucking football player. Right. Like, oh man, this is cool. Right. If you, you guys do, it, yeah, we all sound like men a little. Oh, oh for sure. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So when I did the intro, that you know, I said you licked my pee. Mm-hmm. Uh, U S S Y. Yeah, you did say that. I w- I do want to say that I you did say that. you did the bad word first. So well, Tina did. And now if if you um, our Patreon subscriber, there's a vlog. I paid Tina 500 bucks to uh, do a quick lick. And so she did that. Quick lick should be like an ice cream shop yeah. or something. Did That's it go, good. did the tongue go over the, the whole she, thing? She, the kinda, clip? she went bottom to top inner lip. The whole thing. Yeah. But, I Well, I was just thinking, I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, did I eat your... You know, but it's like no, I didn't eat. You didn't it was munch a, on it. You 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 tasted it. Yeah. Eating would be two licks. God, it, it was like this. It was like a quick lick. Yeah, and her tongue felt like a little cat tongue or something. It was very odd. <laughs> yeah. It's because you don't want to get in there too deep, I dude. I've been that. down there. Now listen, here's how it happened. I hadn't washed or nothing. I said my puss is rank, and Ye- I go and I go, Tina, I'll give you five hundred dollars to lick it right now. And she said, okay. So she did it dirty. And I looked at my bank account, and I look. I go, hold on a second. <laughs> and I said, listen, I got to go to the restroom real quick. And I went, and I vaped for at least six to seven minutes, went over my finances, logged into <laughs> logged into firstcommunitycreditunion.com, logged into chasebank.com. <laughs> what were you thinking? Can I pay rent this month? <laughs> I was like, I went and looked at how many vape pods I had left, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna need, More I'm gonna juice. need a hand this month." What did yeah. it taste like? I will die by this, and it tasted like a, a hockey bag. It smelled and tasted like a hockey bag. And if uh, try, I don't know if any of you guys were lucky enough to be um, child figure skaters like I was, but no, <laughs> not, not this group. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> podcast, but uh, maybe no. try like Figure Santino skaters. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Santino, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe try one of those upper echelon <laughs> elites. One of them. Is yeah, there something the- that makes it hockey specific, or is it just a gym bag? Or is there a smell it's- like that that we can relate to? I'm what- trying to figure out why hockey. Yeah. Okay. So okay, maybe like football pads. It's like you know that smell when a guy, and this could be a guy. 
of many different ages. You know when some when a guy walks by you and it's like got that smell where it's almost kind of moldy, but it's like very it smells like yeah. sweat that someone tried to sp- spray bleach on, and Ooh. then it's like they re sweated sixteen times on it. That's great. Have you ever walked Thank into you. a wrestling room? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Oh, the yeah, equipment. That, that right. ain't good. That is right. zang. It's where the sweat does this kind of, I think it actually mutates, kind of like hmm. COVID-19. Do you remember that virus that happened? No, it I mutated. forgot. <laughs> it, well, I'm saying it, it mutated, and I think that's kind of the smell, the, the change that your area went through when you stopped. The soap. Because you were on a no soap. That's what it was. That's what it was. You were on a no soap. Remember we talked about that? And we just and I said, I'm not doing that no more. (laughs) And the kicker was Tina saying it tasted like a hockey bag. I said, I gotta bring back the doll. The hockey bag (laughs) is better than the cod though. Yeah. Yeah. Paige is right. The cod? Come on. Yeah. I wit I am gut and (laughs) I cod, come on. Yeah. No, you're right. Because I've smelled it when Chelsea's got that kind of stank. And I'm not just kind of trying to point out. Let's move on to another. (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) We stay on Chelsea's pussy. And here's the thing for an hour. Here's the thing. Don't mind. Let's talk about it. Well, and I think we've all had moments where we've kind of I've Got moments 23 hours out of the day. Yeah. Dude. I'm having a moment with oh, my pussy. Dude, I, there's this one moment I had with mine that I will never forget. Me and this gal, Mallory, we did heroin together. Oh, Th- this was yeah. when I, this was a girl, we were the, we were like besties, you know? If you guys are new around here, Tina is an ex heroin addict. Mm-hmm. She, not current. <laughs> not, she's a for, she's a former. <laughs> Dude, the peace sign. Ex heroin addict. Not current, yeah. but she is an ex heroin addict. You Go guys ahead. see this shirt I'm wearing? Okay, that's an old Western symbol for the hipster heroin. Yeah, yeah. You need a shirt, <coughs> former heroin <clears throat> addict. So y'all did heroin. Well, yeah, and this is actually not even related to it. I think I just was kind of giving you some context of where we were at. What kind of? Yeah. So me and this girl were friends in high school. Started doing a bunch of drugs together. Mallory, still homies to this day. Shout out to Mallory. Shout out to Mallory. Fucking OG friend. So we were doing drugs. Then a few years later, we go into rehab together. Her and I are sitting in circle up one time because that's what you do in a cult. You know, you're always circling up. You're always. She, She went to a cult rehab. A religious cult rehab, right? Can yes. you okay, say which one? Oh, yeah. It's called Crossroads. Um, I wouldn't say it's a religious rehab, okay. but it is a cult. It's a cult okay. for oh, sure. Dude, everything's a cult. Every, yeah. abs- I mean, the Vara podcast is a cult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. And yeah. listen, I'll be the first to say it. I love cults. Oh. Sure. Sure. I've had a blast. I had a blast in that one. You know, I had to unlearn yeah. a few things. Yeah. There's a few that are weird out there, but some of them are cool. Oh, depends which one. You got to pick and choose. Right, you know? right, right, right. Yeah. Paige, you're giving Mother God right now. Like, you're about to Stop. eat colloidal silver. I Stop. Am your mother. <laughs> so, you got to finish the story, though, y'all. No, pussy I, stink? I'm going to. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, we where are we going? Heroin pussy? <laughs> yeah. <up? laughs> well, uh, th- okay. So, this is. Tana, Tana, you're yelling. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I just, I'm just letting you know, honey. She's no, I'm excited. Right. I'm She's glad so you did. Excited. So, we were sitting in circle up one time, <laughs> and we were like, Dude, I don't know. Let's just kind of like see who could go the longest without washing their pussy, you know? That's stuff we do. So bored we, in rehab. It, yeah. Bored in rehab, sitting at Circle Up, and we did it. We went hard. I think we went for about nine days each. I mean, there was there was a smell, a walk to remember, a smell to remember. Like Love a that movie. fermented cheese. <laughs> Featuring Fishy Ooh. Moore. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I mean, Featuring Mandy Moore. <laughs> it was Ooh. disgusting. Yeah, that's bad. And that's the cod kind of smell, you know? So why'd you do it? Just like for funsies. Just, just to, out of boredom. Just to see. Did you guys have a smell test at the end? Oh, you could smell them sitting right next to each other. We both <laughs> got bacterial vaginosis out of the deal. We were both sick. We had to like go to the doctor. Well, this Damn. is get this some is stuff to shoot up. Introing me to the next topic I wanted to talk about because I saw um, a video going around TikTok and I thought I feel like we've talked about this, but let's get into it again. Washcloths. Hmm. Oh, yes yeah. or no? Do you use washcloths in the shower? Do I do. Yes. No. Nah. That's I a use, boomer I, thing. I use uh, washcloths and a loofah, depending on how yeah. I feel that day. Yeah. Paige, you don't use washcloths. No, I buy the microfiber towels for, like, babies. Dude, I'm telling you, they take off your makeup 
better than any makeup wipe. Just put water on it. Ooh. What about your butthole? No, I don't use any because they say all that shit's filled with bacteria. So, but you wash it in it. the washer. I just use my fingernails, whatever. <laughs> you just scrape the shit off with your fingernails. Yeah, a little scraper. Wow. Uh, no, I don't. I've never really brought washcloths in there. Wow. You do, right? I'm a washcloth most of the time. Not every time. Sometimes I just use my bar of Dial soap. Mm-hmm. Um, in your hand? With, I'll just scrub with. I won't even. I'll use the soap to scrub. What she's oh. doing is kind of make it a seal with her hand over the soap, and so it's just gliding along. You and she got doesn't it. even. I need. love doing that too. I, I can't do that because if soap gets underneath my fingernails, that's like my pet peeve. I don't think I've ever gotten soap underneath my finger while I'm washing. Mm-mm. No, but um, yeah, I think most people use washcloths, and some don't. I've never felt so clean using a washcloth. Oh yeah. I only like using washcloths when I'm at hotels because there's something very stressful to me about having a wet washcloth to be responsible for. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's in the tub. It's there. I've got to take care of it. I can't just (gasps) leap. Oh, that's our timer. That's our timer. Fuck you. Fuck you, Tina. Hey, Hey, if you're listening and you're a piece of shit, fuck Fuck you. you. If you use a loofah, fuck Fuck you. you. If your pussy stinks, fuck Fuck you. you. Hey, if you're in a cult that hurts people, fuck Fuck you. you. If you're judging somebody for having a smelly ass pussy, fuck Fuck you. you. Gary said fuck you too. You see that? He's scratching off the haters, bitch. If you're a guy and you don't wash your asshole, Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. That's, oh, that, that feels that's, good. That felt great. Yeah. Hey, what's up with that freckle thing? They say everybody has like a freckle on their left or right arm, like on the inner part. They say like everyone has a... You, do you have any freckles? I no. have one. It's on my right arm. And it honestly just made me so fucking mad that I looked down and saw the freckle <laughs> that you were talking about. No, I don't I'm like, have any. No. Does Maggie have? I don't have any. I don't know. The freckle? What's it mean? I don't, uh, hmm. What does means you're mean? A cult, means you're a cult leader? Yeah, it means you're in some cult. Okay. means you're a real From big birth. cult leader. Yeah. Big cult guy. Do you know what I'm saying, though, with the washcloths? Like, doesn't, don't you feel stressed out having a wet washcloth in there? Because it's like you got to take it and then put it in the washer. And then what? You leave it in or in your little laundry basket for a few days? In well, the hamper? I'm going to be honest with you. Don't know what you're talking about right now. She's Mm-mm. saying after you use the washcloth, she doesn't, you don't know what to do with that. Well, because it's wet. Ring, you wring it out. Wring it out. Put it in dirty clothes. Or hang it up. I always hang mine up. Yeah. So they dry. Yeah. I don't mold. leave it sitting in a hamper. Mm-mm. Moldy. Yeah. Malt moldy. Ring it out and then hang it up somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes if I'm a little lazy, though, you know, just chuck. Chuck Norris with that yeah. bitch in the Chuck hamper. Norris. Chuck Checky. Norris. For sure. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just I, I like doing them at hotels because someone else is responsible yeah. for them. You I know see what I mean? mean now. I see what you mean now. And I think just all in all, we could all do a little better. Mm-hmm. When I leave a hotel, I try to put things in a pile. Yeah. For the most part, like you know, all of the dirty towels and stuff I used. Yeah, That's all the good. all the shit I left on the floor, I pile my I just <laughs> scoop it into a pile. I try to and make I, it as easier, and so they hopefully freaking do their job and clean yeah. it. Well, I'm not even talking about washcloths. I just mean just in general in life, you know, even if you're doing good, hey, you could be doing better. Oh, there's always room. There's always some aspect where you're not doing the best you can. And do better. And do better. That's all we're saying. And I think you don't even have to stress yourself out about that. Like, because you, I used to think that, oh, God, I need to be doing better. And then I would spiral and think, oh, that's bad. I have so much I need to do. Not anymore. No. Now I'm like, guess what? We're checking things off each hey, day. Doing a good job. Do the best you can mm-hmm. and just do a little better than you did the day before. Yep. And it don't have to be perfect. It can Mm-mm. even be doing better at chilling out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying you got to work to the max and fill up every second of your day and freak out. Just, hey, everybody do a little better. Even with self-care, take, you know, do better at making time for yourself. Go you need t- that. Go take a nut for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every Saturday. Saturday self-care days. Saturday self-care. Put some cucumbers on your eyes and on your pussy. Right. Just go to town on that thing.
That's all we're saying. Yeah. Okay, that's all we're saying. Kick back. Um, so yeah, before we get, we have a little segment here and we got some calls and we're just going to shoot the shit today and hang out and just, you know, we may finger each other's assholes. We don't know what's going <laughs> to yeah. happen. But something big. Something's gonna, something big's going to happen. I can Ooh, tell you that much. Big um, before we get started, I want to announce um, that my two, sh- the only two stand-up shows I'm doing this year, August 11th in Halifax, Canada. Okay, so come see me. I'll be opening for Theo Vaughn. And then on August 17th in Grantville, Pennsylvania, me and Ginger Billy... We'll be doing a show at the Hollywood Casino. That's going to be a blast. Mm-hmm. I love that guy. Yes. And it's going to be a good fucking show. It is. Yeah. We just met Ginger Billy. Oh. He came over here the other day and was the sweetest guy. Coolest, funniest dude. I I mean. Very fit. V- yeah. Hey. Yeah. Zero percent body fat. He even I- told us that like he was over here and he's like, okay, what time are we? We film into Chelsea. He's like, I got to hit the gym. Yeah. Before. He was doing push-ups <laughs> in yeah. your, on the kitchen island last night. Do you see that? No, I didn't. I missed you that. You didn't on even notice island? it. Oh, yeah. He was doing push-ups on the kitchen island. That's awesome. Chit-chatting it up. Just doing push-ups. Damn. Well, you know he's going to bring be bringing a six-pack to Grantville, Pennsylvania at our show then. Oh, yeah. Flexing. He'll bring the six-pack. I'll bring the keg. It'll be a party for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can go get tickets on my website, eatmytrash.com. <laughs> you sound like the price is right, dude. We Bob got, Barker. We got to go. Yeah. The price is right. We got to go. Yeah. <clears throat> Rafe did it. Rafe did he get was, on? Rafe was on. Price is right. Wait, he got called down? He got called down. What? There is. A, let me find a photo of him right now. What How? year? Um... Did he get on stage or did he get to bid? Dude, uh, I'm going to show you this picture. You're going to be shook. He won the bid and got to go on stage. How, what? How, how I don't, do I not know this? Yeah. I mean, who was get, the host at the time? I don't even remember. If it remember. was Bob Barker, I will lose That's my, what I'm thinking. I will, I'm calling Rafe right now. <clears throat> That's him. what I'm thinking. No, I'm calling Rafe. Call who him. was the host? Hold on. Don't answer. I'm calling Rafe right now. Call him. Call him. Yeah, call him. Okay, if you don't know who Rafe is, Rafe is... Tina's life partner. They're not lesbians. He's a man. Yep. But they call each other life partners. Mm -hmm. And Rafe is also a uh, very funny stand-up comedian. Rafe Williams. And he 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 hosts, uh, what what morning show does he host? He is on the Rizzuto show Monday through Friday on 105.7 The Point. And 105, seven, the y- you can watch it every single <laughs> morning in St. Louis, Missouri on YouTube.com. Head on over to YouTube.com, everybody. Get your phones out. Get your keyboards out. Type in HTTPS. Stop it. Semicolon. <laughs> Hold on. Two slashes. Y'all. Right. I, I'm not. I got a FaceTime Rafe. I can't um, believe he's not answering. Well, it's my service. Yeah, you got you to gotta use okay. FaceTime around here. Shh, shh, shh. Everybody be quiet. Everybody shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Everybody shut the fuck up. Guys, stop fucking talking. Everybody stop talking. Here what the fuck does he think he's it, doing? Is he jacking off? Talking. Who what if he's asleep? What the fuck does he think he's Ray. Yes. Hey, we're live on the Valor podcast right now. Hello. And I got a question for you. All right. When you were on The Price is Right, who was the host Drew Carey. Okay. We thought it might have been Bob Barker and I would have lost my shit. I wish. He's of the age. It could have been Bob. It, it could have been, <laughs> been Bob. Yeah. <laughs> roasted oh, his ass. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie roasted you. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the roast. Yeah. The roast. Shut your floppy tits up. <laughs> oh, shit. Love you. Shit. So tight. All right, brother. Well, that's Anything? all we really wanted to know. I love you. Hey, real quick before we go, was it exhilarating? Price is right? Yeah. Oh, fuck, it was awesome, dude. I was so... I knew somebody in our group was getting on because we went with a group of comedians and we made the producers laugh. And it was either going to be me because I had a shirt that said bet on a vet trying to play the old veteran card. Oh, <laughs> got And we had a guy that was a fireman. And we had yeah. a girl, my friend Kate, who lied and said she took care of two special needs kids. They oh, were just stop it! That, you got to yeah. have a story. You got to have Little a good bitch. story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she and they picked her, and she got on the showcase showdown, dude. They picked someone from our group, and it was like the last showcase showdown. And then she fucked up on outdoor TV. I was right in my wheelhouse. Oh, and damn. 
She did like four hundred bucks on a twenty eight hundred dollar TV. No, oh, oh god, I'm kill you right no. now. Dumb bitch. That's what she gets. It was an Earth Day episode. Wow. Well, I, we're gonna we're gonna try what to find year? Clips. What year? What year? Damn, that probably been like twenty. Fuck, dude. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. Hey, okay. Let's, let's, go, let's go back as a group and get on, bro. Oh. I'll go anytime. I'm serious. Let's plan yeah. that. It's yeah. It's a process too. <laughs> huh? It's a process. Like you gotta go. Oh, I've been. We've been. Vet you and me, Maggie, and Beth have been, but I've we didn't been. get called. Yeah, we didn't get oh, called. We got called and. I wanted it so bad, dude. Hey, they do. They like interview you. Hey, Rafe, let's go back and let's win that showcase showdown. I'm showcase it, showdown, baby. Okay. All right. Well, we called. love you. He love you. Called, like it's for... All right. Hey, thank you for your service. Yeah. Bet on a yeah, bet. Thank you. Bye, Rafe. Bye. I'm trying to hang up. All right. Bye. Oh, love you. Oh, there's a picture of him. He said, thank you for your cervix. Wait. The fact that it was National, like, Earth Day, they didn't say, like, hey, we clean up the beach and stuff. They put, we take care of, like, <laughs> autistic kids and shit. <laughs> she said, uh... Rave. Yeah. That's, that's okay. amazing. He got to spin the wheel? Oh, dude. I mean, look, the guy... That's a, li- that's a lifelong goal, getting to spin that fucking to wheel. Go. I wonder if it was heavy to spin Pure. the wheel or what. Sorry. Pure wow. joy. Wow. They always make it seem like it's such a heavy will. I know. Oh, he came back with bruises on his body. <laughs> what? Stop. He had bruises on his forearms. Yeah. You guys, he had to go to urgent care. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah. That, I, wonder if, pri- I wonder if, if CBS paid the bill. <laughs> when someone has to go to urgent care, you know they're sick. Yeah. You know when someone says at work, oh, man, I got to I gotta head out. I got ur- urgent care today. That is, that is a deep thought. Um. Hey. Do y'all have something that you love and something that you hate? Love. Hate. hate. Love. Hate. Love. Hate. Here we go. Shredder. Hate. I'm going to go first, and we're all going to list something that we love. Okay, hit Are it. Are you then. ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something that I love. Small airports. Oh, oh yes. Less God. walkie-walkie. Mm-hmm. San Diego has a good one. Yeah. I want an airport where if I get dropped off, I walk in and the gate's right there. Yep. Or if you're going to have a long airport with long ass aisles, you got to add those mm-hmm. walkers. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I, I don't even want a place that has a walker. Same. I want a small airport. Kansas City Airport, KCI. Good. Small. That's what I don't need. Small. Okay, next. Mm. I love when you're sleeping and you're kind of hot, and you can move to a cold pocket in your bed or, like, flip your pillow to the cold side. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ooh, sometimes I'll get in bed and go, like, I'll start going crazy. Or, like, a cold sleeping bag sometimes. Mm. You know, mm. you just, like, start mm. kicking your legs and You gotta shit. get that cooling mattress. Yeah, it's mm. fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Just anything related to crispiness in the bed or <sighs> crispy uh, stuff geez. like that. Uh. <laughs> There's, there's a, there's, there's, there's a guy on Instagram. There's a guy on Instagram called like the cozy guy or something. And he's basically this guy who's like, do you work at a 40 hour a week job? And all you want to do is be home. So it shows him getting home with his lunch and his briefcase. And then he like gets into jammies every night and like makes a tea. And he's doing all these little home body things. That's the life. Oh, living. That's He's probably life. a very good, just calm human to watch. Yeah. Sometimes oh, you yeah. need those calming creators. Absolutely. Oh, he seems like a lover, a real giver. All right. Real uh, next, monster. something I love is having a full tank of gas. Oh. It makes me feel some type of way. Yeah, because you don't have It to makes stop. me feel uh. empowered mm. it, in a ma- way. Yeah, it makes me feel just like, oh, okay, I don't got to worry about this for a while. Exactly. Makes I'm you good. feel safe even, you know, it like does. a catastrophic event Like, hey, happen. if something happens, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. good. Yeah. And for, for me, miles. you know, make, you know, how many times have I gone and just put $10 in? $20 A in. lot of times. So the fact that you got a full tank feels like. You got <sighs> money. I got a full tank of gas. When you get in and you see that needle yeah. on yeah. full. Yeah. Yep. I feel like Superwoman. That's a good one. <laughs> My needle was on freaking E <laughs> and on orange light on the way here. Oh, honey. And I hate that yeah. feeling. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> you may be stuck here. I know. I'm like, the hills are, I don't know, yeah. I might be. Chelsea would love that. Yeah. If I stayed the night. Dude, she's always like, where are you going? I, I do hate when you leave. But 
I'm like almost a service pet, I think, for you. <laughs> service and emotional support animal. Yeah. You were leaving the other day, and I was like, oh. don't go. And even on the cruise, you're like, stay in my room. <laughs> All right, Tina, you got something you love? <coughs> yeah, yeah, you know that guy cozy on Instagram. <laughs> and you can't say heroin. I wasn't gonna. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <clears throat> <laughs> She's changing her answer. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I am actually quite upset because I did have originally fresh sheets, and then Paige kind of came in with a cooling pocket no, thing. Go with it. That's no, different. Okay. Fresh sheets is different. She's gonna do something different. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, I am gonna do something different. When I'm putting on eyeliner and I just do it in one perfect swipe, it's like. I want to fucking punch a hole in my mirror. I feel so awesome. Hey, honey's Amy Winehouse here. Uh, yeah. And then you have to go to that other eye, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not going to look as good. Yeah, yeah for That's sure. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. I mean, it's just always such a good feel. It's like when you're... Oh, scissors, yeah. dude, it, that is a good feeling. Do you have an eye that you like better? This one, my right eye right always, because really? I can do this thing with it where like I can just close it easily. And on this side, it's different. Yes. I try to do the eyeliner yeah. on that side and it's like, I have to manually open my eye. It's like, I need to like tape it. It's just too much. I feel the same. I think my right eye is hooded and then my left eye, I, I think I have hooded eyes huh. maybe. Mm. They both look the same to me. You do. Yeah. Why would it be harder to do like, you know? I don't know. China. What? Do we I have hooded eyes? Yeah. <clears throat> so what does that mean that we're gonna have to get it them taped up? It just means that skin. Yeah. Like that when you have them open, that and skin. And Paige is Chinese. I don't want nobody being like, <gasps> oh, dude, if you can't even say China anymore, <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're right. Fucking. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. China. Okay. China. China. Go I got news for you. <laughs> made in China. A lot of stuff. <laughs> A lot of stuff in this room made in China. Hey. Something we hate. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Chelsea just... You can't say China. Way. Okay. Is China. everybody ready? Is everybody mm -hmm. ready? Something I hate. <laughs> and I don't see this often, but when I do, I fucking hate it. Oh, boy. Men who wear capris. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I've never seen that, dude. I saw Paige. one not too long ago, and it pissed me off. <laughs> what? When we went to Panda Express, that guy had capris on walking out to his truck. It pisses oh, me off. Okay, I've spotted one. <laughs> I've spotted a couple, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It, what are they doing? Uh, waiting for the floor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, it makes me mad. It, it should make you mad because it's ridiculous. <laughs> So that's it. Go ahead. No. Yeah, don't be wearing capris. I mean, come on. Wear pants or it's shorts. A, it's offensive. Pick one. I'm yeah. even a girl and feel weird wearing capris. Yes. Oh. I mean, in eighth grade, I might have done that. Yeah. Dude, capris are out. They're out. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you. If you're one of those people who's like, oh, wear them because they make me happy. Stop. No <laughs> one likes to see you in capris. Well, they're yeah. cute. Or on, gauchos. Well, they're cute on like Gaucho. elderly women. Elderly women who have capris on, that's cute. I, that's, I can tolerate that. But if you're a 30-year-old man, yeah, what you doing? Yeah. Don't wear capris. You're indecisive is what you are. Mm. You don't know what you want. Pick one. But also, I don't give a fuck what anybody... like. True, but I'm just listing off things yeah. I hate. Yeah. And she... She and, hates that. And I went in on it. So mm -hmm. go okay. ahead, Paige. What I hate is when uh, there's freaking syrup on the outside of the syrup. <sighs> oh, yeah. Paige, that's good. And your hands get all sticky, and then you're Clean like, the bottle. That's yeah. good. That's a good one. Yeah. Clean the bottle. Brett, you got to do better. <laughs> and you know well, damn well he did it. Just even when you're at a restaurant, it's like, uh huh. come on, man. Good one. Thank I agree. You. That's a really good one. Maggie? <laughs> I hate planning meals, putting things together, and knowing I got to do that and plan things and cook. It's, it, I can't do it. Yeah, you can't not do it. You got it gets kids. debilitating to me. Yeah. That's the other thing. You know it's not the last day you're doing it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's a and, good one. And I got to do it. Oh. A chef is would that, be so cool. Yeah. Is That's that one like, thing I would spend my money on. Out of all the 
household, I guess, chores or things to do? Is that the number one thing that you... That's the number one thing that I can't do. I can sweep and mop and do the dishes and, and all the laundry. That does not bother me at all. But planning meals and planning cooking mm-hmm. and cooking. All cooking and putting things together like, okay, if I laid out this steak, what can I have with it? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to think about it. Yeah. Oh. That's legit. <laughs> I can't. Girls, hey, you got to start making the girls cook one night a week. And, and teach them to cook. They're I know, pretty because good. They're gonna... I, and I've been working with them. Lola can do stuff, and I'll start working with them more. And they need to start cooking once a week for the family. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good idea. They need to cool. learn to cook because I never did. <laughs> mm-hmm. It doesn't need to be anything elaborate and crazy and take them three hours. It, it could be something, you know. Yeah. A couple recipes. Craft. craft Some mac craft. And, craft mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, just go get a freeze lasagna. Right. It's There's nothing more I hate. Yeah, I know. You've been complaining about that a lot. Lately. I have been. And now that they're out of school in summer oh, and yeah. stuff. They always want to eat. That's one of the most <sighs> annoying things is when oh, even my nieces and nephews, oh, I'm hungry. You're like 24-7. They want, want me want to. Want kids, like, they want me to cook for them. Mom, what's for dinner? And then you got to go to this. After I go to the store and buy it, I'm done. <laughs> well, yeah. You're on your own. Hey, you're just starting. <laughs> Oh, God. That's when you start. Oh, it's, that's a good one. It's what, bad. What do you hate, Tieners? Well, I, I mean, I would like to comment on children asking for food first <laughs> before I get to my spot. We had Rafe's granddaughter stay with us one time for like four days. And Rafe's granddaughter. <laughs> Tina's yeah. a grandma. Yeah, dude. y'all. Look at, <laughs> a step grandma. <laughs> hey, honeys. Grandma here. You've lived like a hundred lives. I really have. Yeah, it's you like have. I mean, I've I've got nine lives. I got more than nine. You're a thirty year old grandma. Oh thirty one year old grandmother. Ex con. No, just kidding. Um, no. <laughs> well, technically, I am. I had a DWI. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. I'm sorry who I reckon into. Okay, so yeah. children. The Rafe's granddaughter. One morning, just I mean, I had just woken up, and she walks into the room immediately, just mm-hmm. like you know. Where's my food? I want breakfast. What are we eating for breakfast? You they know, don't, give you, they don't <laughs> give you no time to wake up. I didn't hadn't even hit my vape. Where's not. my food? Where's I breakfast? Hit my oh, vape. I wish yeah. I could do that. Tina's like, hold I, on, I let me hit my vape. Hold on, let me smoke for an hour before I, I make your eggs. <laughs> I was like, hey, come here, get your little small hands into this crack and see if you can find my vape, and then I'll make you a little. <laughs> and, and, and then once you find my vape, then we'll get you a little toaster strudel, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, God. Great. Does she really wake you up, though, early? Oh, yeah. That when, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, you get up. Well, I mean, of course you got to get up. They're okay. ready to hang out. You take How care of the early? Kid. I mean, I think it was like 7 a.m. The kids, when they were smaller, they would wake me up at like 6, yep. wanting oh. to eat. And I'd have to get up and make them food. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You know it's serious because I just heard Beth from the back go, go yep. yep. And she knows. <laughs> Yep. So this morning I was cleaning up a leak in Malt my leaky. garage. Liv didn't go to school today because she was upset. Anyway, right. um, she comes out there wanting me to make her breakfast. And I had to go upstairs and make her breakfast Ugh. in the middle of the leak. In the middle of the leak. Malt leak. And I did. In the middle of the leak, you had to stop. Malt leaky. What you do with the leak? Put a bucket under it? Uh, we took care of it. But yeah, well, Beth took care of it, I should say. They shop vacked it with their pussies. Ooh. <laughs> Sucked it right up. <laughs> just, <laughs> just sat on got it. Got around like snails. They were like, they put their legs up and they just Ew. walked around like snails and shop vacked it with their holes. <laughs> yeah, I would it, make it was a sight worse. to see. <laughs> I would add to it. I stop. On it. Stop. Yeah. But go ahead, Tina. What's your. Uh, okay. Oh, Here, here's what I hate hate. Getting my socks or shoes wet. Ooh. Like when I'm wearing tennis shoes, say there's a little rain outside or whatever, and rain drops onto my tennis shoes, sock gets wet, whole thing. Didn't you have that one not too long ago? Uh, she yeah. did have that. Yeah. Oh, walking mm-hmm. through the house and yeah. you got your little socks on and you just hit a little patch of water from the dogs. Ooh. Yep. Oh, man. I mean, makes me want Big to time. go ballistic. Yep. Same. You got to wear shoes in the house. Big house time. shoes. You got to wear slides. So, I mean, you just, you got to have something on. You're house right. You got to stay protected. You have to wear house shoes. Big time. With dogs in the house. Have oh, to yeah. stay protected. Oh, dude. Shit. Um, oh, shit. You guys, before we get into some calls, uh, um, send some positive vibes uh, our way and Beth's way. Beth's dog, Millie, is currently, as we're filming this podcast, 
at the vet getting a leg removed. Yeah, little, little leg left. She's belly. in surgery right now. She's in surgery, so literally. Mm-hmm. When we yeah. are done, she got the call. Yeah. Yes, she's in surgery. She's in surgery. So when we are done, Beth will go pick her up, and she'll only have three legs. And I don't want to be insensitive, but how the hell, like, do they do that? I don't know. And what do they do with the leg when it's off? She Feed said, it, put it Beth in the trash, Beth throw it on the grill. It, no, Beth said they're sending it to a lab to see all the cancer. Like, the whole yeah. leg or yeah. just that Why the whole tumor? Leg? Oh, the, they're going to send the whole leg, and then they're also going to send a picture of Millie with four legs to the people there. They're going to... Oh, Sad. What if they can turn it into like a uh, prosthetic, yeah. resin it, and then send it I back to know. Beth? And you Beth love can, like, resin. She oh loves yeah. Let's so that so thing. I um, but I think Millie will adapt well. She's like the smartest dog we have. I told Beth, I go, I didn't think I would take it so hard. I was fine <sighs> until last night. Everyone was asleep. Yes. I was at the kitchen table. Millie came up and wanted to be pet, and I I felt then I was like, oh god, she's only gonna three. She's getting surgery tomorrow, and she don't know. I know she's so. got to know though. She's so smart. I know. Beth and I were she's sitting like, in the garage last night, just crying. Oh, talking. God. We were both smoking weed out there, looking at pics of Millie, crying. Hey, honey's malt smoothie here. Hey, honey, shaved my. Bung hole and pussy today with Athena Club. You did. And I feel great. And not smooth. like and not like a smoothie with fruit. S- fruit and seeds. No. I am smooth as butter. I know you've heard about Athena Club by now. You know, but this is your official sign to finally try it. Okay, Athena Club's award winning TikTok viral razor kit is worth the hype, you guys. And you need to try it to believe it. Athena Club's razor glides so effortlessly. No scrapes. You don't have time for that. You need good products on your genitalia. Well, if you're going to be swiping your lips, it needs to go smooth. The quality needs to be good. None of that equate shit. And you know what else has got to be good? The price. Yep. Big time. Okay. And listen, okay. The Athena Club razor kit is an absolute steal at just 10 bucks. I mean, come on. But don't let the price fool you, okay? This razor feels expensive. Tell them about the hook. Oh, the hook? It's the coolest part. I have that magnetic hook in my shower. You just can slap your razor up on it. Oh, it looks so nice and neat and clean. It's really cool, just like your butthole. Hey, if you still think all razors are created equal and haven't made the switch, (laughs) you need to try Athena Club's razor kit, okay? It's the best deal you'll get on a premium razor and will keep you feeling confident in your own skin all year long. Ready to upgrade your shaving experience? Switch to the best razor on the market and show your skin you care with Athena Club. Head over to athenaclub.com to try their award-winning razor and body products and get 20% off your first purchase with code BUYROLL at checkout. You can also find Athena Club razors at your local Target store. Trust me, you won't look back. Happy shaving! That yes. would be the hardest thing because it's like you can't communicate with right. your dog, so it's right. like you, you can't feel let helpless. Them know. Yeah, and then well, how the hell do dogs just know how to walk back? I don't know, but they figure it out. And, and they're cutting her at the hip. Yeah. So she'll adapt well and send good vibes, and Biffy will be posting updates on her Instagram, I'm sure. And She really is the smartest literally. dog in the pack out of oh. every dog that we have. Hey, wait, I mean, what? that's obvious. <laughs> what did you Gary say? Gary don't listen for Gary. shit, so you have no room to talk, Millie's, Gary. Millie can hold her piss like... For 12 the, hours. Dude. Oh, Millie is Millie is a warrior. She I have no no qualms, mm. no issues. I know she's gonna be just fine. Beth will take her outside and say shit. And she'll just shit. <laughs> That's funny. On That'd command. Be cool if that could work for us. <laughs> We'd be like, Maggie, shit. Shit. <laughs> hey. Oh God, do y'all smell that? I do. I smell oh, it. Dude. And it's you not my that, armpits, Tina? it's something else. Do you? It smells like a can of beans. Tina, do you smell it? Dude, are y'all doing a bit? What's <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, roll that beautiful Dude, bean footage. Oh, God. <laughs> are y'all doing a bit? <laughs> oh, hey, sh- honey. Brandy here. It's delayed. Quick question for the whole podcast for everybody. 
is there any sayings or like phrases that y'all hate or like things that people post online? Like for example, mine, I hate when guys post on their dating sites, fuck around and find out who pisses me off. I don't know why, but it does. So, uh, thank yeah. you for calling. Oh. Thank you for calling in honeys. Um, yeah. Okay. Where do I start? <laughs> yeah. One that really pisses me off and I almost don't want to say it. Because I don't want people to be messaging me this. Dude, just fucking say anything. Well, they're, no, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be fucking with me. They're gonna say, "Oh, Chelsea hates you." Guess what, Chelsea? <laughs> well, it's gonna, yeah. No I matter what it. you say, they're gonna. Uh, say that. When somebody says this, I want to scream. Say it. When they say, "Thank me later." Oh, you hate that. <laughs> hey, there's a really good taco shop down the street. Best tacos. It's called uh, uh, Taco Tuesdays. Thank me later. And you hate this. You hate when people say, you're welcome. That, that, oh, the taco place. It's really good. New taco place. I'll send you the at- address. You're welcome. I <laughs> want. I, I'm just like, this is me, literally. Yeah, the you're welcome. Uh, I can't stand it. Mm-hmm. Thank me later. You're welcome. Yeah. It's condescending. <laughs> it's condescending. And it's also like, you don't. No, that I'm going to like this. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to be sitting in a reminder in my phone to thank yeah. Kendra for suggesting this taco place to Ch- me. Chelsea, you got to watch this uh, new documentary mm. on Hulu. Thank me later. And I'm just like, just say, hey, there's a documentary I think you Yeah, like. the thank me later adds you a very douchey gotta aspect. say thank me later. Yeah. I've only said it one time, and it's because I opened up a door for like 15 dudes and I was like, you're welcome. That's different. Yeah, they pissed me off. Yeah. That's different. Not saying thank you. Mm-hmm. Come on, yeah. do better. Oh, <laughs> I can't. St- there's this one person I know that every time I ask them how they're doing, they say great like Tony. And <gasps> uh, great. <laughs> I'd be pissed. But they say great like Tony, just like that. <gasps> and I want to, I want to <laughs> run. <laughs> Over them with my car. Yeah. Like Tony. That <laughs> Great. Like Wait, Tony. I don't what? like when. Oh, so go. Tony doesn't have bad days? Bullshit. I call bullshit. Yeah, go you're ahead. lying. He's yeah. a superhero. He has bad right. days. Okay. Right. He's struggling. Right. He's a freaking serial killer. What about you, Paige? Um, I don't like when people go, FYI. <laughs> or. Um, See, I don't mind that. <laughs> it depends how they're yeah. doing it for sure. Like, FYI or. The freaking no offense thing, or can we talk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or can I ask you? I, I guess there's a lot of them I don't like. Can what I a, ask you a question? Uh, ask, ask. You just it. did. Or, yeah. What about, what about this one? Y'all ready for this one? I think everyone, everyone in this room is going to agree, and everyone listening is going to agree. What is it? I did a thing. Oh, oh that's what I was going to say. I did a thing. Did a thing today. And they got a haircut. Or they'll <laughs> post a or they'll post a picture and it's a new car. Did a thing today. Yeah. No, you didn't. You made an irresponsible financial decision yeah. today. Exactly. And you're a or, fucking idiot if yeah. you're saying that. Whoa, Maggie is mad. <laughs> Don't say that I'm shit. With you. Half the people listening are like, oh shit, I just posted that I did a thing. <laughs> They're taking out all their vocabulary. Dude, right I don't even care. That's dumb. If you're saying that, you're dumb. Yeah. You're I, dumb. I'm out on it. Well, I hate. I we hate just it. Lost, lost half the rock fuckers. <laughs> well, what do you think about people posting their new? Cars? I don't. I don't think oh, the rock fine. fuckers would be so dumb to say something like that. Oh, if you get mm. a new car and you want to post it, that's great. Like, yeah, that's but awesome. But don't say dude. I did a thing today. Yeah. No, post and be like, listen, I'm forty six thousand dollars in the hole. Here's my Venmo. Yeah. And this is whatever you got to do. Like, Watch hey, this that- video for one minute to take me and my family out of debt. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, though? Getting a new car is f- cool and exciting, and it's like you should be proud. And no, when people post pictures like, yeah, I got a new car, that's awesome. I'm always like, hell yeah, this is a nice one. It's cool. Don't say I did a thing. No. Say, got a new car instead. I did a thing. Yep. <laughs> so that's bad. That's- my, my brother-in-law just got a new truck. And I'm so proud of him and excited for him. Yeah. He got himself a nice ass Toyota Tundra, big business. But guess what he didn't say when he got it? He what? didn't say did I did a thing. No. He said, "Hey, check out my new baller ass truck." That's yeah. what you say. That's yep. it. It, it would yep. be cool if people 
did put negative the amount of money they have into like the truth. Just, you just, know? If I ever get a new car, I'll do that. Yeah. Just post Thank a new you. car and be like, my monthly payment is yeah. Yeah. Here's my Venmo. <laughs> MSRP. <laughs> Interest. <laughs> That's Interest great. rate. What's yours, Maggie? Or that was that yours? was it. That was and it. I knew it was going to be it. That was it. Freak, All right. dude. I heard that uh, there was this dude on TikTok. He was saying that Ty Lopez rents out his house and then pretends like it's his house and sells all those courses like how to be rich but he's using another dude's house i don't even know like, who that is but i mean that's that's very deceiving yet eh, kind of smart yeah but that just shows scammy. you can't believe anything that yeah. just shows you can't believe nothing yeah and he's probably not the only one doing it. Mm -mm. Everything is fake. Yes. Everything is fake. There are influencers. Oh yeah. In LA who rent there's there's this private jet. Oh, yeah. It's not even a private jet. It's a it's a it's a fake plane. This thing. fake yes. set that looks like a private jet and they will rent that and take pictures like and then post it like they're going to places. Oh yeah. That's insanity. That's Remember that Beth, bow -wow when challenge? Beth used to work at that place they had those fake private jets mm -hmm. and we were taking pictures in there. I never posted them. We never but, said going to going to Right. But it was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> insane. One more thing though. What do you think about people that take pictures in front of cars that aren't their cars. I think that's fine. If you see a cool car and you're like, man. <laughs> but oh, don't say it's yours. No, no, no. Don't what about if yours. they throw up like prayer hands in front of it? Like Even cooler. Yeah, I agree. That is very cool. And, and, and me it, and Tina it, it, have probably done that. Yeah, for sure. We've, we've, <laughs> we've done one of these. Yeah. Uh, but it's but very don't, cool. Don't say it's yours. Yeah. But just say, hey, saw a cool car in, in the... Taco Casa parking lot. That yeah. was cool. You would have to acknowledge that it wasn't your car. If you, you're you posting it and not saying nothing, douchey. Okay, I have a question. What do you think about if, say, somebody sees a really cool car and they're like, oh, my God, this would be such a cool car to have a family photo taken in front of, and then they call their family and have the entire family show up all wearing white button-up shirts and they all take a photo in front of the car. Is that what Is that did? cool? No, I'm just wondering if you guys would think that's cool. Did that happen to Maybe you, Maybe for a Toyota commercial, <laughs> Hold like on. a Toyota yeah. Sienna. Hey. What's up? Tina, did that happen to you? <laughs> yeah. No, no, man. I was just wondering <laughs> if you guys thought it would be cool. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Tina. Was Cut Lana? to me and my entire family in front of, like, a Toyota Celica in 1997. You and your grandkids? No, I gar I know for a fact my dad made us take pictures in front of cars. He's I like, love him so hey guys, much. get over here. This is a really cool car. Come on, guys, let's get up over here. Svetlana, come on. Christy, come on, get guys. Okay, I'm going to set the camera. And I then he's like running that. to get in the photo. And it's just like he has white sunscreen on his nose. No, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, dude, he's always taking weird pics. Tina's I love that. dad is without a doubt one of the coolest and funniest people I've ever met in my life. The we need fact to have that his here. name is Kevin is already makes mm -hmm. him the. Is that his real name or his American name? <laughs> That's his American. What's name. his real name? Igor. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. Yep. Tina, he, we have to have him on the podcast. Oh, he, you know he would love it. He <sighs> would just have such a blast. We he's, have to keep a lid on him he, though. Well, there's no telling. <laughs> he's never in Nashville though. No, we they'll come. They'll come soon. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it happen. Because your dad's been on. I mean, you know. We needed all the dads on. We watch watch dads. everyone's dads be on and ours. just Not ours. <laughs> not ours. Yeah, not everyone's dads except. <laughs> everyone's dads that we know <laughs> has been on the pod, but ours. We're eventually going to have just every dad in America on the podcast. Would you ever want your dad on the podcast? No. Can't. No. I'd be like, hey, what's your body count? I wouldn't mind you asking him that, but I just, there's yeah. no way. Then I'd send him a picture of my pussy. <laughs> That'd <who>? be <laughs> If we did everything we've Rolls done to my dad, bitch. to yours. Rolls reversed. <laughs> How would your dad take all that? Your, my dad would probably start sexting you. Is if that you, the type of dude he is? I don't know. Yeah. I guess but, you guys don't really like know his but personality. He, but now. he posted on Facebook not too long ago, bring back pussy hair. Yeah, he did. Whoa. And you have a bush, so... He would love. He'd love you. you. He'd love you. He, your dad <laughs> posted that. Yes, he did. Let me bring get on back there. the bush. Yeah, he said, "Hold on, let me, let me get, bring let me find it. like he back. Know, like I don't like I don't know." And it's funny because he doesn't hardly ever post. 
and then comes back with that. But he, he, I saw that. Damn, he's really wanting it, dude. And he's really? not talking about bush light or nothing. He oh wants no, that it, it said. It's, oh no, he's he's talking straight up woman. Whoa. Let me try to find here. Oh, God, I love a nice little fur blanket. It's just really comforting and nice. Yeah. Something. You know what I love? Oh, interesting. He he shared a reel I posted mm-hmm. of us at the movies. That's interesting. A reel of you and him? Watching street, uh, I almost called it sweet corn. He, po- <laughs> he, he posted the uh, the reel of uh, Wadney Hubert, Tight Curls and Loose Girls. Oh, stop. <laughs> No, he Dad, sh- not. Dad Watt shared that. Uh, okay, he sh- he he he. This is what he posted. It's that cartoon character. I forgot the name of it, and it says "Bring back hairy pussies." Oh my! God, that <laughs> didn't is we out screenshot of control, dude. and send that to each other, and we were like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> you should have tagged me. Yeah, and our comments. our cousin Shannon Maggie wrote "lol" <laughs> <laughs> on the hairy pussy. Yeah. I'm getting, off, I'm getting off Facebook. I can't handle it. Why is Facebook the craziest place in the world now? Oh it really is. I mean, it has become wild. It's the wild, wild west on Facebook. Really I don't is. know what's real, what's not. Well, I'm lost. I know Facebook is where the older crazy people are. Oh, I know yeah. we didn't, we didn't, we're not having a DM of the day, but yesterday I was scrolling my DMs. And this guy wrote, I can't take it anymore. I need to take you on a date. And then sends me a full body nude selfie in the mirror. And this motherfucker's 80. Showing face? Face. I don't see wiener. You see wiener up. But this man's 80 years old. Listen, I had a DM like that the other day. And I click on there. And he's got pictures of his new, his daughter just had twins. And he's holding the babies. And I'm like, Uh get get out of my DMs. Yeah. Yeah. And he was a nice looking dude, like grandpa's family man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what you doing? Grandpa's are insane on Facebook. It trips you out, though. When you see photos of a family and then read messages, it's just almost (laughs) baffling. And I know people out there are like, oh, my dad and my grandpa never do that. Shit, sneak their phone and get on there and see what they've been saying. They're in our DMs. Yeah. Trying to lick our asses. Trying to lick our asses. Why do you think Ashley Madison was able to yeah. even be a thing? Oh, guys are, dude. guy, y- yeah. you're wild, yeah. y'all. You're- um, Wait, exactly. I'm hearing that Snooki and her man are like breaking up because of the Ashley Madison thing. Like people are still finding out about people oh. on Ashley Madison today. Is that true? I don't know. It's so, the, the, oh, they found out that it was like 99% mm-hmm. guys on yes, there. Yes, I know that. It's so funny. Yeah. So, so I'm like, how could you be breaking? It's like, oh my God, Kevin loved a robot. Yeah. <laughs> like he guys was jacking off to a robot. Talking to nobody. <laughs> they literally were like messaging <laughs> No one. No one. And they're like, yeah, I'm yeah. living on the edge, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Insane. Um, Man. Thank you for calling him. in. That was a great question. I loved um, talking shit about what people say on the internet. I, oh, that was a I good felt one. good thank getting you. that off my chest. Yeah, yeah. We, we got I really it off did. Our chest. <clears throat> thank you. Yeah. Love you so much. And thanks for being here, Lars. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Hey, Paige. Guess what? What, Chelsea? Guess what I've been sleeping on? Something really soft mm. and creamy. Mm-hmm. Guess what I've not been sleeping on? A BS pillowcase, okay? I've been sleeping on this Blissy pillowcase. Ooh, sounds fancy because it is. And let me tell you, I did not know that a pillowcase could be a game changer, especially for, personally for the breakage in my hair. Game changer. Yes. We put our hair up in buns all throughout the day, Mm -hmm. and we have breakage. There are a lot of dupes out there that claim satin can be an alternative to silk, but that is not the case. Mm -mm. Satin is made from synthetic fibers like polyester, while silk is a luxurious, all-natural fiber, and it feels good. It's moisture-wicking, breathable, gentle to the touch. It's also more durable and long-lasting. And you guys, these pillowcases, washable and hypoallergenic, okay? Silk is what's best for your hair and skin. It reduces frizz, tangles, like I was saying, breakage, okay? It also helps with your skin care, you know, the moisture in your skin. Um, If you use a cotton, it literally absorbs 
all your skincare off your face if you use a cotton pillowcase. Let's do better. Plus, Blissey pillowcases are 100% mulberry silk, which is naturally hyperallergenic. Wow. Everybody loves them, okay? They have a ton of different prints and colors, and they make great gifts because there's an option for literally anyone, and men love them too. They have over 1 million raving fans, and you could be next. Try now, risk-free for 60 nights at blissy.com slash viral pod and get an additional 30% off. That's B-L-I-S-S-Y dot com slash viral pod and use code viral pod to get an additional 30% off. Your skin and hair will thank you. Hey, honey. So I have a question. (laughs) Is it weird for men to wear whitey (laughs) tidies? Especially like a 37-year-old man. Is it weird? Should they wear boxers or, you know, like even the one, what is it? Bit boxer briefs. Yeah, anything like that, maybe. But whitey tidies? Nah. Tell me what you think. Love y'all. Bye. Man, she hates men oh, being yeah. comfortable. She hates men being yeah, comfortable. She, yeah. she hates balls being supported. I hate, yeah. yeah. I don't she care hates it. what they wear, honestly. Do I get sexually aroused right. seeing a guy in a pair of whitey tighties? Generally not. No. 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 But guess what? One of my best friends, Tim Walsh, he wears whitey tighties. Okay? He's got a big schlong. And he looks, you know, like a very average American guy. Just a regular guy. Just a regular guy. I mean, you know. What does Rafe wear? Rafe, he wears uh, boxer briefs. That's what Greg does. Whatever feels better on your balls and cock. Do that. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I I would, I, if Greg wanted to wear tidy whities, I would not care. Nope. No, I saw Clayton wearing tidy whities Yeah. And yeah. I thought it was cute. What whatever makes you comfortable, whatever makes your balls comfortable. I wore thongs only up until I was oh god, how old am I now? 36, probably 30, late 30, late 20s. And one day I just go, why am I doing this? Mhm. Why mm-hmm. am I doing this? And I still have some and I wear them on occasion, but 99% of the time I wear my granny panties, and I'll be damned if Greg is gonna say shit. Stop. Rafe tries to say stuff. He'll be like, "Oh, you got what? your granny." He'll be what? like, oh, "He'll be like, oh, you got your granny panties on." And then I'm like, "Yeah," and I'm comfortable, motherfucker. That's so guess say, what? Yeah. Get over here and start munching. On exactly. This wrinkly puss. Yeah. Who cares? Oh yeah. I, Munch on this granny pa- panty pussy. Yeah. Why don't you? <laughs> yeah. Slide why those you, little panties to the side. Yeah. Slide those big panties to the <laughs> yeah. side. Yeah. That's the thing, dude. Rafe's like, "Oh yeah, you're wearing granny panties," but he's still like, mm, uh-huh. "Yeah, let me go." Creaming. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just. Cream. In. If I wear granny panties, I get like four butts, so I mainly just do it for the lines of the I can pants. See, well, and I can see that. Yeah. Sure. Depends on the shape of your body, depends on what you're wearing. Sometimes I will wear thongs, but day to day, literally I, one day I go, why am I doing... Just as a as a teen, you think it's cool. Ooh, Victoria's Secret, let's go get thongs. That's just mm-hmm. what you did mm-hmm. back then. Trendy. I kept wearing thongs, and I literally go, I'm not doing this anymore. I will say thongs on an airplane... Oh, dude, the it's like floss and going up your ass. It's really? so uncomfortable. Sometimes it will start going numb and itchy, and I, you can't really pick so mm, well on the plane. Yeah. I've got a sore right now at the top of my ass crack from wearing those cheeky things that slide up. I was sweaty. I was moving around. See, we can't be having sores for for. We got to be comfortable. We got to let men and women wear what is comfortable. I do not get how Maggie freaking leaves it with no underwear. I would be leaving crust. I was going to say, I probably only own three pair of underwear. And I barely wear them. I'd be leaving crust and cream all over my jean shorts. I I don't cream. Fucking pizza, dude. Maggie owns so little underwear that she says it singular. 
I own three <laughs> pair of underwear. You don't even say pairs. Mm-mm. You don't even now, have enough. Now I will Whoa. say this: in my yes. like, in my like mid twenties, I went through a little, a little spur where I didn't wear underwear for months, and it was fine. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I, I started sweating. It started getting summertime, and I <laughs> same lips started sweating. So I got bicycle go. shorts. Yeah. No, dude, my cheeks start getting too sweaty. I need my underwear to catch the sweat from my asshole. You same. And I need a pain liner to catch the piss. Damn, I don't do any of that. I don't sweat down there. Do you use lube and stuff when you have sex, or are you Mm-mm. liquidy enough? I get wet. <laughs> I guess I just stay. I stay wet then. Damn. I don't stay wet, though. I stay wet. So do you, I guess, apparently. What about you, Tina? I stay I stay wet, dude. I'm a little. <laughs> I'm a water slide. Ocean's of fun, to, baby. We need to write a rap song and have Brett produce it. I stay wet, 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 <laughs> wet, wet. Uh, yeah. Just something like that. That'd be and sick. Then Tina comes in. I'm a water slide. I'm a water slide. Get hey. between my thighs. I'm a water slide. <laughs> Whatever... Makes you comfortable and happy. Do that. Mm. I would never shame a guy for wearing whitey tidies. Mm. Nope. With everything in life, do you be happy, be healthy? And I be will honest. shame you if you put I did a thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What about it's yeah. giving? Yeah, you're getting shamed. <sighs> that don't bother me as much. Yeah, that don't. Bother I did me. say it's giving to you earlier, so that's fine. Okay. okay. We got another call. Yeah. Wow, I love these calls. Thank you guys for calling in and supporting the podcast. For real. Seriously. For reals. <laughs> Hey, honey's Moo Moo commercial here. You like to have a little midnight snack? Uh, midnight snack queen here, honey's Malt snacky. And not only midnight, we like to snack all <laughs> throughout the day. Morning, you know, around noonish, afternoonish, midnight, pretty much um, all the time. And since we are big snackers, we like to choose what we snack on appropriately. Listen, you guys, Magic Spoon, yummy. They got a variety pack. Okay, four flavors. They got cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. So they got something for everyone. And listen, this pack has zero grams of sugar. Wow, how do they do it? 13 to 14 grams of protein and four to five grams of net carbs. So if you're cutting back, watching what you're eating, whatever, or hey, if you just love a good snack... This is this is for you. This is the snack to attack at only 140 calories a serving. It's high protein, has zero grams of sugar, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, and soy free. And Paige, I go back and forth on what my favorite flavor is. Sometimes, God, they're all good. I stick to the fruity. Oh, Brett's go, been eating all of them. Really, I go back and forth. I mean. I just get hooked on a box, and it's my favorite flavor. But then the next one is my favorite flavor. So they're they're all good. Just can't choose. Go to magicspoon.com slash viral to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code viral at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember, start your day off right with a delicious bowl of high-protein cereal at magicspoon.com slash viral. And use code viral to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. Malt Whitey, baby. Hey, hey, y'all. I love every single one of you so much. I listen every week. And my question is, if if y'all shit before you take a shower, do you wipe? Or do you just what go the? straight into the shower and hose it off? Ho- hose it off? Yeah, there ain't no hose in my shower. What are they I'm trying the to only do? Ho in my paper? shower. Huh? You got to wipe because you got to get in there and get all that. I got a deep hole. I mean, I'm I not going to lie, though. If I know I'm getting in the shower right after I'm shitting, I'm still wiping, but I am less. You're not. Care- I'm way less careless. You're not wiping. You'll do two wipes instead of four. Exactly. Yeah. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. There might be a couple smegmas on there and I'll yeah. just get them off in the shower. I can see it. that. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Well, but I'm but I'm not gonna not wipe. Yeah, you're still because I don't want to just be touching full on shit. Yeah, you're just and the shit's getting on the floor and in your fingernails and oh, 
I'm wiping. All uh, y- yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not go. I'm not taking a fucking. I'm not pinching one off and then just walking right in the shower. Right. Heck no. Well, you know what? Mm-mm. When I shit, I will wipe regular with toilet paper and then I'll use a couple dude wipes. Now, if I'm getting the shower, I'm not gonna waste a dude wipe. I'll I'll wipe regular and then get in the shower. Yeah, and Chelsea's blast circumference is just. Oh, dude. I mean, it takes a, over. I have a large blast circumference. You are a blast <laughs> from the fucking past, Thank dude. You. She's a blaster. Jimmy Neutron. That's mm-hmm. all I can think about mm-hmm. when I see your ass splatters. Thank you. That yeah. toilet. Thank you, guys. Really, really attractive stuff. I appreciate you guys. No and problem. Your, and your love and friendship. But it happens to the best of us. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That don't happen to not cool people. But Damn, dude. How the, cra- <laughs> the crazier the splatter, the cooler the person. Mm-hmm. I wish they could just be like more colorful or something. Because that means my asshole's having fun. Yeah, <laughs> it does mean you're really living. Oh, your asshole's not just having fun. It's going fucking willy-nilly. It's having a rave down there. <laughs> oh, dude, that yeah. asshole's fucking going to five-star restaurants and yeah. stuff. Yeah, your yeah. asshole's like those cool guys that like are at a weird hippie party that are like taking the lights that are going like this all that over. That's your asshole. Figure eights. Blasting, wow. shitting. So I think we're all on the same page on that. We we, we got to wipe. Yeah, a couple wipes, shot. couple swipes, then go get the water on it and mm-hmm. be I done agree. with it. I agree. Thank you for calling in. I love the question, honeys. Love you. This is the last call. <sighs> last call! That's cool of the night. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, send it. Hi, honey. Fuck Mary Kill here. Old Daddy mm. Edition. Okay. Harrison Ford, Kevin Costner, or Denzel Washington. Love you, honey. Bye. This, can I just say, I already know. Tina, we do a lot of Fuck Mary Kills on this podcast. This may be my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Fuck Mary Kill. Harrison Ford. Kevin Costner or Denzel Washington. What now, time period? Let's do that. Any. Any? I think you pick. Okay, I'm going to pull up some picks. I was about to say, T- I was about to say, Paige, do you know who Harrison Ford and Kevin Costner are? I know you know who Denzel is. Yeah. Um, is Kevin Costner the dude on Yellowstone yes. who's like, yeah. Hey, come here. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm going to fuck Kevin Costner. Oh God, I'm gonna fuck Kevin Costner. I'm gonna I'm going to fuck him until until I get a hernia. Mm. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna fuck him. Oh God, I'm getting so horny right now thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna fuck. Can you imagine fucking him? Maggie? Kevin Costner. Oh, oh God. And, and and in Yellowstone and in Dancing with the Wolves. Everything. Just in life, just in general, dude. Can we marry the fucker up? <sighs> no, I I have to uh, I have to marry Denzel Washington. He seems like a great husband. I would want him to read me books at night. Because you're thinking of Morgan like, Freeman. Mm-mm. Oh, you're thinking of Denzel Washington? Yeah, yeah. His voice. He does mm. have a nice voice. Yeah. Denzel Washington is so handsome. Yeah. And he's been, he seems so nice and so funny and fun. And he's been married to his wife for like 40 years. Mm, I didn't know all that. Yeah. I love that you got all the celebrity gossip Dude. because it makes me able to make a decision on uh-huh. things like this quickly. Oh, she I, knows all the celebrity news. About you should have worked for E. That'd be cool. Um, and then <laughs> Harrison Ford. Cool. I don't, I'm not a Harrison Ford hater, but eh, I'm whacking him Dude, off. I just Same as me. Up. Freaking watch McCall. He's 81, Harrison Ford. Is he really? 80? Yeah. I'm gonna marry Kevin Costner. And fuck. And fuck Denzel and then killing. That's going. Killing Harrison. So Maggie, He's already on his way out. Yeah. <clears throat> Maggie ha- is the same as me. What about you, Tina? Um, yeah. Killing Harrison Ford, marrying Kevin Costner. Uh, and I'm fucking Denzel. It's a toss okay. up. Part okay. of me wants to marry Denzel, but then it's kind of like, you know, because I think about American Gangster. He's a very vo- versatile guy. You know, he's. He's probably my favorite actor. Him and him, John Jim Q. Carrey, and Tom Hanks are my top three. God, he's so hot, too. Who? Denzel Washington. Mm. Ooh, he gorgeous. seems optimistic. Uh, looking. And, and I feel like the older he gets, yes, the hotter he with gets. That, with that salt and pepper. Okay. <sighs> I'd like to change my answer. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and marry Denzel because long term, 
long term, mm -hmm. he's going to be a looker longer. Black yes. don't crack. Everyone, yes. it's true. It just, Amen. I mean, they're much better skin. Kevin Costner, great times right now. But listen, once he hits about 70, that nose is going to start getting so big, you can't even, I, I, can't even, I, can't even see it anymore. See, I'll, I'll, I'll love that. <laughs> it's your life. See, I'll love that. Yeah. What for sure. if Tina, imagine Tina and Kevin Costner waking up in the morning like, good, mo good morning. <laughs> both, <laughs> both of them. God, he's so hot. Oh, Kevin nice Costner. Warm welcome. Good morning, <laughs> Tina. My beautiful baby girl. Good morning. Good morning, Kevin. <laughs> the sex last night was amazing, and your pussy is off the charts. That cock wrangled my clitoris into a furry. Wait, didn't he just get somebody pregnant on the set of Yellowstone? What? Uh, or was that a rumor? I heard something. Kevin Costner. Let's look that up, Tina. Can you look that up, please? I heard that, but here's here's how I take in news. I skim it, and then I don't think about it ever again, and I don't believe everything I read. Not saying it's not true, but I'm very much like, eh. I did hear something about that. I like when it gets brought up, though, because then you kind of get everyone's viewpoint, or if they've heard it before, just whatever. Well, For sure. It is, doesn't mean it's, it's not necessarily real. real. It's yeah. a lie. Yeah. Are you Made up. Are you 100% sure? made up. Well, I know he divorced his wife, and I think, didn't she come out as saying that he uh, had extramarital affairs? Maybe he was just having an affair and she didn't get pregnant. I don't know, but something happened because they did just divorce, I think. Dude, yeah. and who knows? It could have been up and been swiped off the internet already by now. That's true. Could have happened, and we could not even know. I know. I never know what's real and what's not. Yeah. Well, but nothing's Ke real. Kevin Costner has always been so hot for me even just feel the dreams that's what i was gonna say oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love Wa water world he was a fucking little tan sexy guy in there god damn I love Kevin nothing Potter. beats him in yellowstone though oh no. i just love me I, an old cowboy he's a dad i gotta watch yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah, but dude i even love that beth chick like in I, that i think she's my favorite in that movie. see chelsea didn't like her no well, I only watched the first couple episodes. Yeah. And I go, I don't like that girl. May goes, you got to keep watching. Oh, yeah. And you'll love her. Why, I was yeah. like, you're going to love her. I, yeah. need, I need to watch She's that. such a badass. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She's my you favorite. You know that she's it. British in real life? Yes. I saw her do an interview and it, I was like, mm -hmm. hmm. now I can't yeah. unhear that. Yeah. So I wish I wouldn't have saw that interview. Yeah. Um, Tina, uh, go ahead and shout out. Where people can find you, watch you. Tina has her own podcast with Libby Higgins. It's very funny. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I have a podcast called Slop City with me and Libby. It has 265 episodes. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Y'all so, been doing it for a long time. Long time. Go watch Slop City. Um, we've got a Patreon. And then follow me on Instagram. I got a lot of cool, weird stuff cooking. I just rented a studio in an office next door to my house. So, um, yeah. Podcast, Instagram, Tina D-Ball on everything. D-Y-B-A-L. Tina also uh, does stand up in St. Louis, and you tour with me when we're when we tour. So, yep. come see me and Tina when we tour. Yeah, yeah. you got mm -hmm. any upcoming shows? I don't even know when this is going to air. So next week it's um, going to air next yeah, week, May twenty eighth. Oh, well, guess what? That's perfect. Come see me and Rafe. Rafe Williams, it, my partner, who you heard earlier, he's headlining the St. Charles Funny Bone in St. Louis, Missouri area. May 31st and June 1st, and I'm going to be opening up for him on all those shows. So come see us. We're going to be oh. killing it, doing oh, stand-up, baby. Stand and in there. Um, if awesome. you guys love this podcast and you can't get enough of it, um, Paige and I do Slits Only. It's an extra little mini viral podcast posted every Friday to Pages OF and my Patreon. So be sure to click on our Instagram bios and subscribe to that. And what else? Be clicking and don't forget the monthly merch drops and don't forget to call in. Tina, what should people call in with? Stories, questions, what, oh, anything. Anything. give us Just a topic. Anything. Call Any in with a, a list of your medical ailments. That's a good oh, one. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do that. Medical ailments. If you have a crazy ass medical ailment or some sort of medical miracle or medical me mystery or medical mystery. Like you have two assholes or. Right. Oh, that'd yep. be crazy. Or, or mm -hmm. let's just talk about miracles in general. If, if, if you have had a miracle happen in your life, let us know. Yeah. 
If yeah. something really wild has happened where you're like, the only way to explain this is a miracle. Mm. And mm-hmm. not Miracle Whip. This and not Miracle like, Whip. We're not talking about sandwiches. No. This Your is real life. life. Although we did have a really fantastic potted meat sandwich uh, before this episode. That so. smelled interesting. Shit was good. We had potted meat sandwiches right before and it, it slapped. I think I had three sandwiches. Yeah. How do you spell it? P-O-T-T-E-D-M-E-A-T. Good job. Potted Potted. Yeah. Potted meat. Potted meat. That, that was my first time ever hearing about that today. So that's cool. Well, it's a miracle we made it through yeah. that. So so make sure um, to call in with your miracle yeah. stories. Call, call in with a miracle. And, and if you're worried your call won't get through and you're just dying to let us uh, hear a story, message us on Instagram. We, we would also read your miracle. Mm-hmm. And also keep calling because some calls could get messed up or loud or it could just cut out. There's been yes. so many calls that have just been cut out. So do that. Thanks for being here, Tina's. I had a wonderful Thanks time. For today. I had a wonderful Maggie's. time. Thanks for being here, Chelsea. Thanks Thank for y'all for being, being in my Paige. life. I love you guys. Love my you. family. Love, love you, Gary. Gary. And give us a call. Give us a, give us a call. Hey, call us with your miracles, please, okay? We really need a <laughs> we miracle. Love, we need a miracle <laughs> around here. Listen, oh guys, call. call. What's the number? What's the number to call? <laughs> Four four two seven 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 three 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 one. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Smell like tacos. Get ready. We're going viral. Are we gonna go eat or something or what? Let's go eat a potted meat sandwich. <laughs> Another?